I'm Jason Harris. And I'm Jeff Harris. And this is Furniture Land South, the largest furniture store in the world. Our family has been in the furniture industry for over 40 years, and we have over 135 design consultants. Our designers make over about 25,000 homes every year. From celebrity to starter homes, every project is completely different. So what happens when two Furniture Land South design teams go head to head in a competition to create the best space for the same client? And they've only got one day to get the job done. Each team will bring their own style, personality, and experience to the table. Both teams have the skills to win. But only one team can be named Space Off Champions. Are you ready? Yeah! Sounds like they're ready. Are you? Good morning. Gather around. Welcome to Space Off. Are you guys excited? Yes, we are. It's hard to believe we're finally to the end of round one. You guys are the last designers to compete in this season of Space Off. And as you know, the rules are pretty simple. You're going to have one hour to plan your space after we give you the challenge. Then you're gonna have four hours to shop Furniture Land South for furniture and accessories and the rest of the afternoon to install your spaces. Don't worry, there'll be some time tomorrow for finishing touches just before final judgment. The winner of this challenge will win $1,000 and will advance into the next round for a chance to become this season's Space Off Champions. How does that sound? Sounds great. Y'all ready to hear the challenge? Your client works from home as a blogger. You're gonna design a space for her where she can write and occasionally meet with clients. The problem is the space that she has is way too big for just an office. So she wants to use the remainder of the space as an area to recharge her creative batteries and relax in a sort of zen-like experience. Now she doesn't have a specific style in mind for this project yet, but she wants to feel inspired by the room. She also wants to make sure both spaces work together well in the same room. Exactly. So Jeff and I will be back after an hour to give you the green light to start shopping. Remember, you only have an hour to plan, so use your time wisely. Good luck. Good luck. I'm Christina. And I'm Sharon. And we have been friends and co-workers for 25 years. Mm -hmm. And I do think that since we've been together for 25 years, that gives us an advantage, don't you? More than an yeah. advantage. Yeah. I'm Ashley. And I'm Dee. We've never worked together before, but we are excited to be here on Space Off to do this challenge. We know that the other team has been together for like 25 years. 25 years ago, I was 50. I mean 25, <laughs> and Ashley was two. What do you think about the challenge? Oh, I'm excited about it. Yeah. I have something in my mind that is just, I just can't wait to get started because, you know, I'm thinking, divide the room, but yet incorporate a space in the middle so that, it, you know, everything kind of functions together and, and yeah. all the colors just kind of interact. Sounds yeah. good. Sounds good to you? Yes. Yeah. Okay, I'm ready. When we get off these stools, we are going to run over to the table <laughs> and get our iPad and our little board. We're going to plan it all out. Typically, we could do, you know, a nice drawing on the computer or something like that, but for time's sake, we're going to have to just do a rough sketch and kind of wing it and get an overall sense of scale, and then just shop. Okay, designers, time's up. Let's start shopping. challenge is remember that one item then that he spoke about it's going to be the desk mm -hmm. area where she could work and I know that we need to run upstairs and get a tag put on that desk yes first thing because if we don't take that desk somebody else will somebody else is going to get that desk I know one thing Christina we better put our sneakers on <laughs> yes I'm gonna wear my sneakers because <laughs> you know I wear them a lot of times but we've got to run we don't have time to run waste. fast yes and run fast
So we just went to get our secret weapon, which is a beautiful stone fireplace, and it was sold. We don't have a plan B at the moment, but we'll have to kind of think of that. I think plan A is to do everything we can to get the fireplace so that we can use that since our whole plan is around this fireplace. We gotta make some calls. We gotta make sure we get this in our space. Well, our blogger is young. She's 30-ish. Um, she's into fashion and I think we've mainly decided to do wedding blogger, but I think it can go either direction. Um, so she's, we're gonna use a soft palette, you know, calming colors, and just girly, feminine all around. She's really so. girly. Very girly. <laughs> I mean, she's as girly as they get. Yeah. So what we're gonna do with this space is we're gonna make it personal. We're gonna envision our person as who she is and what she loves to do, and we're gonna put the room down to the T as to the way we think she's going to feel when she walks into this space, when clients are going to feel when they walk in this space, or when her own family feels. But one thing's for sure, she loves color. She loves color. <laughs> yeah, she's going to love color. She's going to love color. She will now. Good morning, designers. How's it going? Congratulations on your spaces. They look fantastic. Jason, I would like to tell you a little bit about today's guest judges. We have with us dynamic mother-daughter design duo, Linda Riddio and Lauren Clement. Linda has been an interior designer for over 30 years, and her daughter, Lauren, has been doing it for almost a decade. Lauren has won numerous design awards, including the best of Howls for the last three years running. Lauren spends a lot of time in her personal home office working on her blog, Lauren Nicole Designs. She actually was the first channel creator on the Design Network as well. How exciting is that? Well, I know you're looking forward to meeting today's guest judges, but first we're gonna ask you to go to our design center while they look over your spaces, and then we'll call you back for final judgment. Good luck. Good luck. Lauren and Linda, Hi. welcome. Hi, we're so excited to be here. Thank you for Hi. having yeah. us. Good to see you. Welcome to Space Off. Thank you. Good Thanks afternoon. for having us. Good to us. see you. Nice welcome. To see you so good to see you. Nice. Well, we've had two design teams that are designing a space for a blogger. She needs to be able to write in the space and maybe occasionally meet with clients. But the room is too big for just that. She wants okay. to use the other side of the room to be able to kind of recharge her batteries and relax. Excellent. Okay. Let's take okay. a look. Okay. Yeah, okay. take a look. Go. What's your first impression of the space? What a great space. This is beautifully done. What do you think about the workspace now? This client is a blogger. She works from home, so she's going to be writing and occasionally meeting with clients. Mm -hmm. Functionally, does this space allow for that? 
Oh, I think so. I think that's a great workspace. It's not too large of a desk that feels like it takes up too much of the room, but right. she's got a great surface space to work from. And I love the bookshelves behind her mm -hmm. that can keep her organized, but also a great place to display some family photos, some personal things that, you know, can inspire her and make her feel good in her workspace. So I think that's yeah. all very smart and very well done. Yeah, it functions well, but the thing that I really love if I'm gonna have to go to work, I want to be happy in my space that I'm working in, mm -hmm. so I'm not going to dread coming in here going, oh, I've got to go to that ugly office again. <laughs> sure. This is going to be welcoming and I'm going to be excited to come to work here. You know, the other thing that's impressed me about this room is that they've used so many different patterns mm -hmm. um, in here, but very successfully. So what do you all think about the desk that they picked for the space? This is a great desk and one of the things that I like is your work surface. This is a nice leather insert but you've got this natural wood here which is so pretty so you've got that texture but then you have that executive feel of the leather which is really nice. Test let's let's out. test out yeah, the chair. There you go. All right, let's see. Oh, we've got our pen and paper all ready to go. Oh, and how cute. Mom. <laughs> yeah. uh, oh, I you think look that's... very comfy yeah. there. I like yeah. this. I, I could work from here. Yeah. All right, ladies, don't get carried away because there are two brooms here for you to see. That's yeah. true. <laughs> true. That's true. Okay. <laughs> Y'all want to take a look at the other space? Yeah, Absolutely. let's go. Right. Let's do it. Let's do it. This is going to be hard. <laughs> Isn't this a totally different this, space than the other one? This is beautiful. It is beautiful. It's very soft, it's elegant, very pretty, very inspiring. What, I love what that type chair. of blogger do you think they've gone for here? Fashion, somebody, could be interior design or fashion, something very. Um, She's probably a very elegant person. She probably mm -hmm. gets dressed up to come blog. She probably doesn't blog in her jammies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm, or I'm if she that. does, they're blingy jammies. They're blingy jammies <laughs> with monogrammed. Right? Linda, what would you call this style? You know, I don't know of a one word, but I'd say this is neutral done right. What do you think of this workspace and the desk? I personally would probably make a big mess of it, <laughs> but. Um, oh, you get to test this one out. Okay, I get to test yeah, this one. Wrong. I get to test the other one out. I love this. Yeah, this is gorgeous. Oh, this chair is nice. Yeah, you look great back Do there. I? Yes. Could you put this yeah. in? Put, put this in my trunk, please. <laughs> yeah, let's, go, let's go check out the relaxation. Area. I think yes, so. Let's go. Is that a sofa that you feel like you could just fall into? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Great pillows. It's that fireplace pretty. is to die for. It's beautiful. How would you contrast the two spaces? Oh, they're very different, I yeah. think. Just in feel. I mean, they're, they did a wonderful job. I think both clients would feel very satisfied. Mm -hmm. They both have a little bit of the unexpected in them, which is really great. And, and they both feel like um, I would be happy in mm -hmm. that space. That sounds like you're going to have your work cut out for you, doesn't uh, it? Yeah, I don't, I don't envy us. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be tough. You make the decision. All right. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Okay. Welcome back, designers. How's it going? Y'all look a little nervous, but don't be, okay? You should be proud of your spaces. They both look fantastic. We spent a ton of time in your spaces, but as you know, there can only be one winner, and it's up to our dynamic design duo here to make the final decision. Linda and Lauren, what do you think? Well, we'd like to say congratulations to both teams. Y'all did a fantastic job. And we did spend a lot of time in each of your spaces. Starting with space number one, I think we each had a few um, favorite elements. I know for me, it was a lot of the, the mixed materials, the leather with the nail heads, those end tables with that raw wood and the mirrored front. That was great. But your setup of space with the swivel chairs was smart. Yeah. You know, you really took into account living in 
in the space, working in the space, clients in the space, you thought really of how that person is going to live and work. So we really liked that element. A lot, and we also liked how you mixed so many prints and patterns mm -hmm. very successfully because it's not easy to do. And this one more is so um, such a neutral palette um, that's not easy to pull off a neutral palette and still have a wow factor to it because a lot of neutral spaces can get very dead, very boring. And that didn't have that at all. It was a very elegant, very wow feeling, but, but very different use of space. And, and honestly, they were both wonderful, but as you guys know, at the end of the day, we do have to make a, a selection in our pick and our winners today are gonna be Dee and Ashley, so congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you.